This should not happen on Derby Day. Churchill's in no drone zone this year. Cameras on a stick, they're banned too. But besides what you can't bring in, what are some do's and don'ts of the Derby experience? We asked around. Don't have a heart attack, don't get arrested because every lawyer and doctor are at the races. You'll have problems. What you should not do, and I'm, believe me, I'm no fashion expert, but you should not wear the same jacket Friday and Saturday. That's absolutely out. You should not wear stilettos, wear comfortable shoes. Security would be one thing to avoid the derby. I, I would say that that's uh, very, very important. One football player comes to mind, Wes Welker. I would say, by all means, avoid security. Don't stick around after the derby runs. When the derby hits the wire, leave. Get to your car and get out. And one more. Don't come to the track with an expired license even if you won the Derby last year. So they weren't gonna let me in, and I had a laugh. I, I, I says, well, I might have to call somebody. So I called the general manager, and he felt so embarrassed. He says, come down to gate 18, they let you in. And he says, God, don't let anybody know that this ever happened. <laughs> and so here we are with the public report, yeah. <laughs> Besides having a good laugh, what else should you do on Derby Day? Buy mint julep. <laughs> so you can enjoy the moment. That way you can celebrate if you win and you can drown your sorrows if you lose. Once you've tried that mint julep, you should then turn to the tote board for the Kentucky Derby and you should find a long shot to bet $2 to win on. Because if he happens to win, you'll have a story for a lifetime. Try to watch the race live. I think it's just, you know, try to watch them run past you wherever, you know, if you're on the backside or in the grandstand or clubhouse wherever, just try to watch it live. You know, a lot of people go to the track for the first time and they bet to show. If there's ever a race to bet to show, it's the Kentucky Derby because they're tremendous payoffs. You might get $5 on the favorite to show. Go to the infield. You got to get that experience. I told everybody, I, I went to the infield the first time when I was 12 years old. I've kind of worked my way up all the way to Millionaire's Row and I'm working my way back to the infield. That's when I know I really made it. I mean, there'll be more people uh, than you've ever imagined in a, in a little small square mile that you can, can do, but, uh, and just try to, try to enjoy it and take, it, take in as much as you can because you never know how many more chances you get.